today it's a little colder than we thought it was going to be <laughs> the weather report said it was about 10 degrees warmer than it actually is right now we're going to do our best to bring you a new location um today we are going to continue our park county series and we're going to keep that secret till we get there so we hope you'll join us we're going to finish our breakfast i'm going to go grab some coffee from Beverly Ridge coffee we've already shown you that so we won't do that again um, so I think the next time you see us, we're going to be at our location. See you there. Look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings down. Look at me like I'm different. Still you stay cause you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, I, I fell in love with your colors. They kind of tell me what I'm thinking. everyone it's just me mom went inside the dollar store to go buy sunglasses she doesn't know i'm making this there's not really a point to it i'm just kind of like updating y'all we're in montezuma now um she just ran in to get some sunglasses because the sun is like murdering our eyeballs right now the tasty freeze is here um i'm sure all of you recognize the the name tasty freeze from jack and diane sitting outside the tasty freeze tasty freezes in Montezuma. So there's a little fun fact for all of you. I got it. okay, got my coffee, my little baby caramel kiss latte from Covered Bridge Coffee. Yeah, it's like my favorite. Everybody should try caramel flavored coffee. It's the best. I'm not really a vanilla flavored person, so don't recommend any vanilla flavored things to me, unless it's ice cream. Yeah. I think we're just gonna try and find interesting things for you guys and like show you around a little bit. Um hopefully you all enjoyed the videos so far. And hopefully you're all like, subscribed, and you share these videos with all your friends and family and uncles and grandpas and your uncle grandpa. If you get that reference, I love you. Even though I don't watch that show. <laughs> hey you. Yeah. I kind of just wanted to fill you guys in, I guess, and ramble a little bit. I don't really do much talking on this channel. I should start changing that. I'm gonna just gonna start rambling about random things, cause I don't know. I guess that gives you all a little insight into who I am. Oh, she's coming back! I got a abort mission. Shh in Montezuma, Indiana. Um, it is a very small western town, um, continuing the Park County series that we started last weekend. We, we are going to start at an old railroad bridge that crosses the Wabash River. Um, it has been built within the last couple of years, um, and it was, and I'm reading a sign, um, it was created by the Wabash River Heritage Corridor Fund. So. are for um, people that worked on the railroad. So like the first one was um, an engineer and this one was for a brakeman. So I don't know if the families have supported these benches or if that was just a part of the funding that came and like they chose the people. So that's kind of an interesting 
and sweet remembrance of the people who worked on the railroad. not part of the river. This is all what we would call the river bottom, so it's kind of overflow. So this typically is not underwater. Um, and all of the, I'm going to point, I don't know if you can see, all of that back there are fields that farmers actually plant. Um, and right now they're underwater. Back that way. Everything is just flooded. The warmer it gets and the less it rains, um, Fall April will be a wet month, but the waters will recede, and then the mushrooms will come, and that's a whole other video to make. Heck yeah, mushroom hunting! So we're super stoked. I'm um, gonna try to get you as close as possible. There's an eagle just chilling on a branch over the Wabash River. It's not unusual for us to see them. Um, well, actually, this is the first time that I've ever seen one this close, but like people report sightings of them all the time and they nest along the river. Um, so probably is waiting for some fish to swim by so we can have some lunch. But yeah, pretty cool sighting for us today. I feel like I just heard a fish flop. Um, so I am now in search of there is supposed to be a location along the river um, that used to serve as like a turnaround basin for the big ships back when the Wabash Erie Canal was actually running. Um, while the Wabash is, is, a, is a wide river in our regard, it's not nearly as big as like the Ohio or the Mississippi where boats could just probably turn around in the river so they'd have to have a place to actually turn around to get back to one direction or the other. This is the Wabash and Erie Canal Benson's Basin here in Montezuma. Um, we passed this and I just kind of thought it was a divot in the ground but this would be right there's the river so before they built the park up here obviously um, that would have just been they would have had some kind of a little causeway coming in here so this whole big area that looks like a natural swimming hole would have been where they would pull the boats in to get them turned around to go whichever direction they needed to go if they needed to go north or south on the river. There's the river. And this is located in Reader Park in Montezuma. So there's a little playground here. Um, again, there's just some areas where the kids can play. Um, pavilion where you can have a picnic. Um, when it's warmer, this would be just a lovely place to come. So come check it out. Wabashanera Canal, Benson's Basin, and Montezuma is really kind of just a cool piece of history. We're going to take you to a couple of covered bridges and then we'll come back through and take you to one of the institutions of Montezuma. So stay with us for that. That's where the Mellon Camp song is going to play in. All right, this is the Melcher Bridge, built in 1896 by J.J. Daniels. This is Upper Arch. 
positive of it this time. Positive. Oh, maybe it'll actually creak. I really want it to. That creek, speaking of creek, that one's not as high as I thought it would be with the way the river is. Oh, mm -hmm. it's very green though. Now we're going to the Simsmith Bridge, and I got a little ghost story for all of you about this bridge. So, supposedly in the 1890s, a woman and her baby um, were walking across the bridge when a horse and a buggy were also going through the bridge at the same time. It said that since the tunnel was a one-way road, the horse and buggy couldn't stop in time to not hit the lady and her child, so they ended up colliding with the lady and her, and her child. Um, and they ended up dying, both of them. So it said that when you go over the bridge, you can still hear the cries of the baby, or you can hear the horse and the hooves, like, walking across the bridge. It's also said that, um, people have claimed to see the woman and the child hiding in the shadows of the bridge at night, um, trying to hide from all the traffic for eternity because, you know, they got ran over and died, so... There's a little backstory to the Sim Smith Bridge. Oh, this one has actually been given a metal roof, so that'll protect it even even more. I don't know that I've seen any of the other ones that have metal roofs on them. This one's longer too. So. It's longer. Um, so you can see, like, when you come upon these, you cannot see the other side. So if that story probably has some truth to it. Um, yeah. Imagine this would be super creepy in the nighttime. And there we go. There's your little ghost story about Simsmith Bridge. Alright, so we are on to the last stop in this trip today. And there's gonna be some yummies at the end. Okay. Sucking on chili dogs outside the tasty free. What song is that, guys? And where are we right now? I'm so excited. So, all right. So, we're at the Tasty Freeze in Montezuma. Um, it's an institution in this area. Everybody who has ever driven through here has probably stopped here. People come from surrounding towns to come and get ice Tasty cream. Um, and it's a they, big deal. They do a grill and chill type thing. So, they have it says 24 and more flavors of soft serve ice cream. Um, they have ginormous mm -hmm. sundaes that come in these cups with handles. Um, I think they're known for tenderloins here. Um, that's a big thing in Indiana. Mm -hmm. This place is just really a big deal for everybody it is. in Indiana. It is. Um, it is a part of the Indiana Foodways Alliance um, that I will link to um, that just lists different eateries from around the state um, and like the food trails so you can find a, you can take a tenderloin trail there's a pie trail um, I believe there's a coffee trail that you can take I didn't know that so I'll link to those and Tasty Freeze is listed in there I have one one drive through window. window. I mean, it's just a little place. Um, and I believe you order at the window. There's no like speaker yeah. or anything like that. So again, we reiterate, be kind and patient yeah. when you come to Especially these places. Especially if you come to Tasty Freeze. I will find you. It is worth the wait. You're rude. Yes, look at me clapping. Worth the wait and be nice because you're going to get so much better service from the other people if you're nice to them. And in another the little thing, when you do go through the drive through if you order something and they have to like make it fresh for you, actually exactly where we're parked at is where they usually have you 
pull out and wait for Don't be food. mean about that either. They do it for a reason. It's literally so. like they take your order and make it fresh for right. you. So it's going to take a little bit of time. You want so. good food. And it's really you got to wait for it sometimes. Pretty good food. Yep. All right. We just met the sweetest young man who works the window. Um, we asked them what their biggest like dessert seller was. Um, we wanted the cheesecake on a stick. They are out of that right now. Um, but we were told the turtle sundae is a good option. So we got a small it one. Looks so good. Yeah, beautiful. we got a small one to share. So we're gonna give this a try. I'm sure it's gonna be fabulous, but we it's gonna melt really fast too. So um, if you come here, all these flavors. Oh, this is gonna hurt my teeth. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, God. oh God. Yeah, look at that bite, you guys. Check that out. Mm -hmm. I need, like, please stop. So that is soft serve vanilla ice cream with really thick caramel syrup on top, and I believe that's thicker than just a chocolate syrup. So it might be like a fudgy type syrup covered in pecans. So what you, exactly what you would think a pecan sundae or a sorry a turtle sundae would be. As you can see, we have the food. Bryn is just <laughs> sniffing it for a <laughs> while. Like fried goodness. So what did we get? Good. Um, we got fried macaroni bites and fried mushrooms. I don't know which one is which. And they're yeah, they're fried, so they're gonna be super hot. These are the macaroni bites. And these are fried mushrooms. So we're just gonna have a little snack here. Um, we got some they're gonna be hot. chicken and go ranch cups so we can dunk buttermilk. And all right, yeah, they're gonna be super hot, especially those mushrooms. Cause yeah, you know how you they... bite into a fried mushroom and there's juice in yeah. there, it's gonna explode in your mouth. So this is a mac and cheese bite. So I'm so assuming in there somewhere. One of those. Oh, hmm. hot. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Ah, it's so hot. God, and I just dug right in. So it is like full pieces of macaroni and cheese, like the craft mm -hmm. box mac and cheese, basically covered in a breading and deep fried. It's like super creamy in the middle and crunchy on the outside, oh, dunked in that so ranch hard. dressing. Oh yeah. Achoo. I'm gonna regret this decision. So, fried mushroom. Fried mushroom. Hmm, not bad. Oh, hot. <laughs> oh, so hot. Apparently, I'm just desensitized to everything, and I just kind of did it. No, I just have really sensitive teeth to everything. <laughs> I would highly recommend it. If you like um, deep fried anything, I think you can probably get that here. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's delicious. Um, come try it. Hey, so we hope that you enjoyed our visit to Montezuma and some cover bridges and the Tasty Freeze today. Um, we do apologize if it seems like we were completely disjointed for the whole thing. Again, we did try to research. We, we found a little bit of information. So... I will definitely try to deep dive as much as I can into wherever we go next week. That's to be determined still. We don't know. So um, we absolutely appreciate you being with us. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, Bryn got to tell a ghost story today. It was fun. We always love it when Bryn's on camera talking. Um, so yeah, we might take a break from Park County next weekend um, and just go find some other fun stuff. A lot of what we're doing right now is going to be weather dependent because mm. spring in Indiana is crazy. It could be <laughs> snowing, could be raining, yeah. could be 80 degrees. We just never know what's going to happen until the day we wake up and we get out and we go. So stick with us. Um, we hope that you're enjoying that we're I think we're doing better I think we're I think so we're starting to understand the filming process and the editing is still a little hairy but it's <laughs> coming um we've got the new toys and I think they worked well for us today gotta get used to them but it's coming along great so if you've made it this far we hope that you've liked the video 
that you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you know whenever we release new videos. Yeah, I do it. Stick with us. Mm -hmm. It's only going to get better, I promise. Um, and we're going to see you next week. Thanks for being here. See you Have next a great week. week.